A doctor who specializes in birth defects testifying for the Parkland school shooter's defense as they look at the toxic trouble dating back to before he was born. Seven's Brandon Vire covering the case live from the courthouse in Fort Lauderdale. Brandon. Robin, really, it's been doctor after doctor, witness after witness, teacher, counselor. They're all saying the same thing about the Parkland shooter. His trouble started early and they lasted throughout his life. But prosecutors continue to poke holes in that and they say he had every, in, every opportunity to change his mind. Isn't it true, Dr. Connor, that the best proof of what someone can do is what he actually does and has done? Um, if you're trying to form a forensic opinion of a person's mental state at the time of an offense, yes. Prosecutors going right after the testimony of the clinical psychologist who told jurors Monday the Parkland shooter suffered from birth due to his mother's drug use during her pregnancy. The doctor says it caused him to struggle throughout his life, mentally and socially, and used tests to show that. But prosecutors say other tests show he was just an average kid who committed a horrible act of violence. The Wexler Memory Scale Visual Reproduction Recognition, the defendant scored within the normal limits, which is an average score, and that wasn't on your graph either, was it? Correct. And jurors heard from Dr. Kenneth Jones, who told him he's never seen a pregnant mom, who drank as much as Nicholas Cruz's. He has problems with executive functioning, he has problems with memory, and he has problems with visual spatial um, um, processing speed. The prosecutors say despite those challenges, his actions prove that he had enough uh, capability to pull off this horrible crime. He's already pled guilty to these murders. This is the jury that decides if he spends his life in prison or if he's sentenced to death. Live at the Broward County Courthouse, Brandon Byer, 7 News.